Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought- Oh th my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. Jonas, really? Please, can you not wait just until we're back outside? I really, really can't. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? What is she thinking? I mean, I'm freaking out too, but like, relax, honey. Is that Clarissa out there? Hello? Is this thing, is this? God, is this, is this going out or? Wait, I can, oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not. Man, maybe God, she didn't just, see us. Anybody... I don't know, but whatever. She still has a radio, so we still got to get to her. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. Clearly, it's the, uh, the evil, obviously. First they finger paint, then they wear our lungs like scarves. Yeah, well, somebody's gotta keep the traditions alive. What was that? You, you heard that, right? <laughs> High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Ah. They're talking about... it's talking about the Navy? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Uh, this this isn't how you play hangman. Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a four. Seven. U.S. Army Radio Communication School. That's this stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good soldier? Yeah, sure, if that's... If that's what you want. Excellent. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? You'd call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, why on earth would I? What does this have to do? We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. All right, if I'm answering the questions, you can leave Jonas out of it, okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships. Nine. Nine. To sail them. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing values in the changing world. Fifty-three? You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. Here I am. I didn't need to get that far. Just... 
State submarine Kanaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Is this? Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Kanaloa? We are uh, sunken. What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just time. What? I. That was not fun. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. your fingers uh, Clarissa oh my god you actually came I mean it did take you long enough but still good I've been sitting fumbling around with this stuff um are you all right I mean yeah why yeah sure my hair might be a little weird but there's not a lot I can do about that you just sounded really distressed that's all well I mean I don't know I'm fine now so all right where's this famous radio I don't know, I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there a... Way These officers who know your problems form well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh, wait. What? Clarissa! Is there anything like. Can we cut her. <sighs> Holy crap. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. Clarissa! 
Clarissa, it's us. It's Alex. Are you okay? Alex, don't worry. What is the matter with her? Clarissa, American will you wait up? There will be other. Oh my god! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not, it's not like we're... She, she was, she was like possessed. I, I, I just, I, I just, uh, this is, Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't, I don't even know what to, we, we should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them or, or how to tell them. I'm, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we... She knows me. This can't... Oh, God. And just the fact that I'm the one who... Who was here. And... God. We'll... We'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. No way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. Oh we, my! Oh, thank Christ, she's alive. Maybe she just, maybe she just twisted her, twisted something. Or Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broken every bone in her body. How'd she just get up and walk away? This is impossible. Cause we did just go through a uh, sort of a temporal anomaly, a, a time thing. Maybe it's screwed with what happened? Well, regardless, good news? Yes, Jonas, of course it's good news that Clarissa isn't dead. Christ. That's not why I hesitated. Of course it's good news if she's not dead. I'm just saying if. What, you think she's a zombie now? Three seconds ago you said she couldn't get up from that. Now you're leaping right into zombie. I'm not saying she's a zombie. I'm saying we don't know what she is currently. Well, guess it's Ren time. Let's hope it's less eventful.
I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy and that I'm outdoors. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. Um, we vaguely. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like, hap- oh, Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another- there's like another way down here. I I've been here before, remember? We used to skip across here as kids, it's fine. <laughs> you were a bunch of psychos to ever try that, but good to know. My dad was really happy to move here, you know. He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got some... Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? It's not a cable car, it's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry? Yeah, it's like an army thing, or... I know there's rules about what you can build on protected land, so maybe this is all it's zoned for or something. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us, so... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been- Power Transfer Station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? I don't know. Monsters? Just monsters? That's your answer? For now. Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens... That's very sweet. <sighs> really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay. It's your barbecue. Uh, what did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... Uh, it's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on... Backup power now or something? Hey, don't worry. This will be just another in a series of escalating funny stories to tell our parents when we get home. If we get home. It's... I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay. We'll just 
There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah. I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Uh, was that there before? Alex, are you all right? Ah! Alex! <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. Catbird station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 in. It says it's the, I don't know, Catbird station? And the call sign is weird, 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. What a night, huh? <sighs> yeah, sorry about this. No, no, I'm not, um, I'm not saying it like it's any anyone's fault. It's nobody's fault. It just happened. Stuff happened. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that's happening is, like, really terrifying and annoying. Humming like a barracuda. 
Barracudas don't hum. Well, this one is. Praise Hello. the Lord. Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. So you're saying you were expecting it to? I half was. But it didn't. So... You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean... I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Yeah. With my brother. With Michael? Yeah? Like, with your mom and dad, or...? Sometimes mom and dad, but... Mostly just him and me. Well, that's cool. Like he's... like he'd be babysitting you and he'd bring you out here? That's nice of him. He could have just stayed home, you know? It wasn't like that. We were, like, best friends. It's not like he was being forced to do it. He wanted to do it. We liked hanging out together. Oh, I mean, I didn't mean... yeah, yeah, of course. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kinda dumpy. Like... I don't know, like it's been abandoned. Yeah, I can see this place being cool like in the summer, or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. Yeah, well, after tonight, douse it in gasoline and light a match. I am never coming back here again. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's you... what... Didn't you already say that? Did I? Okay, yeah, tonight's like being trapped in a nightmare zoo, but I don't know, you have memories here, right? Jumping off the diving board with little Janie and eating ice cream with little Franklin. Whose life are you talking about right now? All I'm saying is, before tonight, this was a pretty cool place. And you did stuff here, and it's a part of you, you know? It's a part of you. And I just wouldn't want our first night out to, you know, wreck all of that for like forever. I just wouldn't want that. I th Ugh, fine. I won't hold it against the island, or whatever. I won't hold it against you or the island. I'll keep my memories. Happy? Actually, I am. Thank you. Wait, wasn't this... <sighs> we passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. We have definitely been here before. This is weird. What's weird? Because I don't remember any of this. Jonas, seriously, you don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot, again and again. Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but like, I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? We or... keep repeating this one moment for some... Reason, God, can't things stay normal for like two friggin' seconds? Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed, but okay, let's deal with this now, sure. This is, uh, new. Ah, oh, it's, it's kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah, why would a toy company make two, right? Oh, love the jokes. Keep it up. See what happens. Take that, ball. Um... What? I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Alright, who are you? All right, who are you? Maybe don't antagonize whoever. Uh, all right, let's not, um, make it weird now, radio people. I think they have a sense of humor. Hey, come on! <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Alex, can you believe this? This is crazy. Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? happening. Don't tell Michael what to do about Clarissa, okay? But Michael's dead. How could I even... Wait, wait. We've done this before. Ah, oh, really? Again? It's alright. We must have just missed... um... something. Are you... Can you kind of remember more now? It's starting to stick. Yeah, I mean, it's still sort of foggy, but whatever, I'll deal with it. Huh, this is... It's just like the armoire in the cave. Super duper old, but in, like, new condition. It's one of those, um, magnetophones, I think they're called. Or some other real-to-real -real thing from the 40s. Why would it be? You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped something, I think. Uh, feel any better? Maybe... Remember all the times we trekked through here now? No, not really. I mean, I remember the ball thing, but that... I guess that didn't just happen, right? I don't know, I feel like I just woke up from a dream. Everything's so vague. Let's just keep going and get Ren. So... Ghosts, huh? <sighs> ghosts. What do you think... They want? The, uh... The I think it's usually, like, justice. Or something. Vengeance. Yeah. I just hope they want to, like, play soccer every once in a while, and that's it. Oh! <laughs> I remember this. The two Jacks carved their... Uh, Jack Mitchell and Jack Ladd, they used to hang out together all the time. And they carved their names into this bench on a school trip once. You don't care, do you? No, please, keep going. Okay, on another school trip, they- Stop. <laughs> uh. Okay, just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. No, no. Just don't 
Move. What is it? What's wrong? This night has turned banana bread really fast, and I'm seeing things and forgetting things, and I bumped into you once already, and it was horrible. So... We haven't... It, this is the first time we've seen you since the beach. Be that as it may, I've seen an Alex. So, just look. You're not gonna talk about my grandfather. You're just gonna stand there, politely, and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Because I've been looking. Clarissa's No, on... no, we haven't. But we, uh, we're actually, we're looking for Ren right now. So, have you, have you maybe seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay, hey, I get it, I do. I'm jumpy right now too, but... Just can... hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just, can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and it seems pretty safe. Nona, Clarissa jumped out of a friggin' window at Fort Milner, all right? What? Uh, sh w why? I... We don't, look, we don't think she's dead. She was able to walk away, and we, um, lost her again. Yeah, she's probably fine, apart from the neck glass. So, she's not dead, but you don't know where she is. Pretty much. Nona, please, don't go after her. It will not end well. And the comm tower is where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yeah, Nona, it's me. Alex. All right, bye. That girl's a peach. And I could have done without the whole your best friend just jumped out of a window part of the conversation. It's not like she really needed to know that little tidbit. It's the truth, Jonas. If my best friend was running around and talking gibberish and hanging herself, I'd want to know too. I just hope she goes to the tower, that's all. For her sake. And for your conscience. <laughs> oh, give me a break.